Hello everybody and welcome to Automon, a cross between Super Auto Pets and the one and only Pokemon. Does it sound like it's up your alley? I hope so, because we're going to get straight into it. Here we go. So, we are with Professor Jitters. We are now 10 years old and we can choose our first Automon. So, we can either go with Weej, who is obviously uh, a Bulbasaur. We've got Fironek, Fironek, who is, uh, it seems like a cat on fire. We got Clamity, nice. A big defensive clam, water type. And we have Ramblast, who is a thunder type. I was going to say Pokemon then, I meant Automon. Don't sue me, Nintendo. Okay, here we go. I quite like Weej. Weege also has a special skill, which recovers 15% of damage dealt as HP, so it's a leech. Like the old leech seed. Let's do it. Let's let's see what this game is all about. So you don't have Pokeballs, you have trash bags. So we put our Automon into trash bags and make them fight. So where are we going? Um so we can choose one of three routes. So we got a swamp, a sort of deserty place. And the lake of calmness. Um, we can see what kinds of Automon we will encounter. You can see at the top that I've filled out my Pokedex. I can't remember what it's called, Autodex or something, um, where we know what kind of Automon we're going to en encounter. So we've got a Leaf type. If my limited knowledge of Pokemon doesn't fail me, I think maybe we're best off going here because there's Rock type there. So we're good against Rock type. So we have... Mr. Weege, who is strong against this rock dude, but he's weak against the poison dude, Ivy Tant. So, on the left-hand side is my active party. On the right-hand side is the enemy's party, so there's two enemies in here. I'm level 5, but they're both level 1, so we should be able to do this, even though um, we are weak to one of them. So let's do it. And this is the battle system. <laughs> we just wait for it to finish. There we go, we beat one already. Well done. So you can see that we have to wait for the bar to fill up for us to attack. That's governed by our speed stat. So we want high speed to be able to attack more. Um, and we did it. We did our first battle. We can either choose to rest, which can um, heal our Automons for 25% of their max HP, or we can take an Automon. So what should we have? Should we have Digum? which uh, he's looking a bit worse for wear, but he can regenerate 2% of max HP per second. Or we can go with Ivy Tant, who's a nuisance. 25% attack debuff on enemy when sent out. So we can either go with Rock or Poison. I think we probably want to go with a Poison one to deal with Leaf dudes. So let's go with him. Put him in a trash bag, and now we've got him in our active party. So we can send four Automon out at one time in a battle. But we've also got our PC box, basically, which uh, can store some Automons into them. Um, where are we going to go now? So maybe we go back to Rock again. Maybe we uh, we go through there. You can see now that we got a 97% chance to encounter those Automon that we can see at the top, but 3% chance to fight some rare Automon. It'll be good if we fight some rare ones, because then we can capture them and have them in our team. You can see I've uh, fought some rare ones already in the Lake of Calmness and the Swamp, so let's go old route. Okay, we've got one big ice cube and a Sabled. Sab Sabled? Sablead? Sablead? And Chilluk. I nearly said something else then. Woof, that was close. Right, okay, let us fight. We may as well go for it. Um, unfortunately, we're pretty weak against both of them, um, except for our Weege, who is strong against the Rock Dog of Sabled. Let's go. Come on, Weege. He's uh, lost some speed there, but that's fine. We beat him fairly quickly. And now we should be... Yeah, there we go. We got green thumbs up. That means we're strong against him. Well done. Well done, guys. So which one should we take? Should we get a rock dude? Deals 30% more damage against rock and ice types. Okay, so put him against the similar type Automon. And we got 7% speed debuff on enemy when hit. So I think we'll go with the Rocky Dog because he's Ice and Rock, so we can utilize him fairly well. Okay, so every five areas, I think, we're in area three at the moment. Um, area five will have a boss called Endica. 
who is a plant-based um this basically gyms so a gym leader who uses plant-based automon so we want to be able to counter that so maybe we go to the swamp try and get a poison uh automon let's try that hello who are you you are poison and you're fire oh dear um so we need rock dude out first because he's strong against um fire and then we want to follow up with ivy tant and weege so let's go here we go here we go come on Oh, good hit, good hit. Critical hit, I believe. Nice. And then we've got Blamton. Wow, Blamton just absolutely destroyed our poor doggy. Oh no. But it's okay, Weege was there to save the day. Um, so I'm not sure if Blamton is a rare Automon. I don't think I've seen him before. Um, but we probably want to go with Tongo because he's got the fire and the poison. He's going to be really good against the gym leader battle, so let's go with him. In the trash bag you go, boy. Um, okay, so all of our dudes level up based on experience. Um, you can see their experience bars there. If you if you have more Automan than you can put out in one single battle and leave them in the um, storage box, let's say, then they can heal health. Um, so that's how you heal. Um, as you can see, Sablead, Sabled isn't very... He's not looking very hot right now. So let's keep that in mind. Um... Should we go to the field, maybe? Um, these are all easy, so these can be medium and hard as well, um, but you'll get more rewards, potentially. Or a better chance of better rewards. Let's go to the field. Um, okay, so we got Raphium, who is a mouse with a battery on it. Or Mobird, which is a swarm type. Okay, that's going to be interesting. Who should we send out first? I think... Sablead can leave the way. He's not going to last very long. Then we do Ivy Tant, and then I think we do Tongo. Hopefully Tongo will level up as well. Here we go. Here we go. We're regenerating some health. Can he make it? Oh, he's really fast, Raphium. Oh, unfortunately, couldn't beat him. Who we got next? We got Ivy Tant versus the Swarm. He dispatches the Electric Mouse fairly well. We're also poisoning the, uh, the enemy, which is good. That means their health is going to go down periodically. And we did it. So what do we want? Do we want the electric uh, high speed Mon? Or do we want to go with Mobird? I think we go with the electric Mon Rathium. Let's do that. Into the trash bag. Okay, so we're at the gym. J-I-M. Um, and we're going to fight Endica. Here we go. This is a proper gym battle. Endica doesn't look very uh, happy, does she? Doesn't look very happy to be there. But we're in the Automon League. We got a, a huge crowd of four people. Let us sort out our team. So we probably want Tongo to come out first. We got Tongo specifically for this battle, so hopefully he can do some work. Um, our sab lead is really bad against everything, so he's out of the out of the picture, I believe. He's gonna stay in our storage box, and we're gonna go with this setup. Hopefully we're gonna win. Let's find out. Okay, come on. Oh, okay, it's looking good. It's looking good. The flower mon, Flory, is much faster than us, but that's okay. There we go, dispatched easily. Um, we're also getting some health back as well, which is nice. Although, so is Eat Toad. Eat Toad. Um, he's fantastic. I love him. Oh no, Tongo's dead. Okay, so, and he's regenerating health very quickly. Hopefully we can poison him. Yes, to counteract it. Very nice, very nice. Well dispatched. Oh no, Spookorch. Oh, that's fire. That's fire. Please. Okay, but this isn't working out well for us. This is not working out well for us. Okay, let's bring out Weege. Weege may not be the best either, but we are poisoning. That's good, that's good. Yes, there we go. Where we go, we won. Very nice. So we beat the first gym leader. The next one is going to be a wind dude. So at the bottom here, we can speed up the battles um, up to times eight, which will be very, very fast, which is quite a nice feature. Um, we've also got a cheat sheet of what's good against what. So wind, where's wind? We want electric, which we got. We've got ice, which we got. And wind versus wind is a good matchup as well. So we want to concentrate on ice and electric, I believe. We've already got an ice and an electric in Sablead and Rathium. So let's have a look. Um, do we want to get a wind 
or do we want to try and get another electric? I think an electric because they're going to be strong against us if we use wind mons. So let's go in here. Um, what have we got? We have another Raphium, a level seven one. Let's have a look. We're strong with Sablid. Um, we're strong with this dude, although he hasn't got much health at all. Um, Tongo hasn't got much health either. But then I think we go finally with Weege. So this is quite risky. We've got two low health mons, but let's see what happens. Uh, let's see how quick times eight is. Oh, times eight is very quick. Oh my, oh, oh dear. Okay, well, we were quite lucky there because <laughs> our first three mods died. Um, so I'm. it says upgrade two out of three, which I'm not sure how this works, but if I pick another one of these, they don't seem to go together like in Super Auto Pets. They seem to just be here. Um, but what I can do is if we want to release a mon, so I can release this other one, which isn't quite as good as the one that I've just got. Then it will heal up my my mons. There you go. So we got a bit more health for the next battle. That's good. Um, so there's that. We've also got this system where if we have similar unique Pokemon. Oh no. Let's start that again. If we got unique mons which have a the same type, then we can get some bonuses. So it's a bit like the Diablo sets, you know. Um, so we got two grass mons in our party, which means that we will get two HP regeneration per second. Similarly, poison, poison the enemy for one HP per second on hit. So quite a nice setup we got there. Um, I think I'm going to go in for another electric. Let's try that. Okay, so we got uh, Ivy Tunt, Rathium and Jazzap. Jazzap. I kind of want that Jazzap. Um, okay, so we want some bleed to go first. We want... Ooh, this is a difficult one. Um, I think we might just have to... Do we want to swap out Weege? Because Weege is pretty good. Hmm. I think we go for it at four times. Here we go. Oh, dear. Okay, we've dispatched the first. We've lost two. Oh, oh no! Oh wow, we just won. We are oh, so close to dying. But I'm getting that Jazz App, I think. That Jazz App is very good. Deals three damage to entire enemy party on attack. Oh wow. Okay, so maybe we need to bring this one out first. Um, right, so we want an easy battle, I think, next. Because we are really low on health. And then that means we can rest afterwards as well. So let's go in there. Uh, we've got Tongo. We got Blamton, and we got Chompis, which is, um, I think, a rare Pokemon. So we might want to get that. Why do I keep saying Pokemon? Automon. Um, okay, so I think we go you, you. We'll have Weijin next. And then I think we might just have to leave it like that. Yeah, I think this is our best chance. So let's go for it. Go, 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 go. Yes, yes, yes. Just, just beat the first one. We just dispatching. He's dispatching. Well done, buddy. Um, I did want to rest, didn't I? But I think maybe it's better to get Chompis. Chomp, Chompice. Chompice? Uh, of course, Chompice is, uh, he's a nice Pokemon. Ah, uh, uh, Automon. Okay, here we go. Deals 20% more damage to slower enemies. Okay. The only thing with this, I think, this game in general, is that in Super Auto Pets, you have so many possibilities. You have the line mechanic, right? So you have them all attacking at the same time and they can mix and match with who's fighting who because of the way it's set up. With this one, all of the, let's say, synergies with the 4% speed debuff on enemy, for example, it's all stat-based stuff. So it's kind of just hit and hope. There's not as much strategy as I thought there would be. Um, but, you know, this is a very early build of the game. The demo's on Steam right now, so you can play it for yourself. So hopefully they'll add more stuff into it. Um, where are we going into now? I just can't see much in the way of strategy. Um, I think we should... Pro they're all medium. Uh, let's go here. Okay, so... We've got Weege. We have um, hmm, Chomp. Chompice isn't very good for this fight. It's not a very good matchup. I don't think any of these are very good matchups, to be honest. Um, I think we put Sablead in the end. 
Let's go with that. Okay. Go. Go, Weege. Oh, his leech is so good. Look, he just maintains his health. Even in a long battle like this. Oh dear, this is not a good matchup at all. Oh, well done, Weege. Okay, so we've got uh, Diggum. That is quite a lot of health for a, for a Mon. Um, and he's Rock and Leaf. Uh, we've already got a Jazz Up. Um, or oh, Jazz Up. And uh, it's level 8 as well, so it's not as good. I do see that upgrade 2 out of 3, though, so it's kind of making me think that you can combine them together. I'm not too sure. But let's go with Diggum. Um, oh, damn, I should have probably rested. Well, hopefully we've lucked out here. we got a wind base team. Uh, quite rare mons in there as well. Um, I think we lead with Sublead. We put Raphium in. We also get Chompice out. Then maybe we end with a bit of Diggum. Or maybe we end with Weege, because Weege is just super powerful. I think that might be our best bet. Uh, let's try it, let's try it. Go, go, go. Oh. Oh. Go on, Weege. You can do it. No, you can't do it. We died. <laughs> oh, oh well. Oh well. But, you know, we had a good go of it. So you restart, you go right back to the beginning with your starter Pokemon, uh, uh, Automon. Um, and that's the game, really, guys. So uh, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Uh, you should check it out yourself. The demo is available. Um, I believe that the game comes out in March, end of March sometime. So there's quite a long way to go for the game. Um, but yeah, it's fun so far. I just think that the strategy options probably won't keep people around for very long in its current state. That's my only concern. Um, but we shall see. But thank you very much for watching. And until next time, bye!